welcome to another episode of Getting Lost Into Space, or as I call it, No Man's Sky. Uh, as always on No Man's Sky, it doesn't do a complete game capture on the OBS, hence why you've got this very strange screen at the moment. Uh, but we will get into the game literally straight away. So let's do it now. And hopefully you can now hear the game, see the game, and I will attempt to play the game. <laughs> Uh, a couple of things have happened. Um, if you can remember the previous episode, we it ended very strangely because it ended me with a new ship, even though um, I didn't actually buy the ship. It was a very strange exotic. I think it was called a Royal something seven ship because of the the fin on the ship has got seven on it. So this is going to be interesting just to see if. Um, I've still got the ship because it's been what, a week since I played No Man's Sky. So the first thing I need to do is also I need to um, check a couple of things that you're hearing me all right. So the first thing I need to do is just check to see on my phone because I can't check on screen because this is using display capture. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. That is good. That's working fine. I need to, so I can look at my dashboard instead. Um, I haven't got my tablet for my chat today. I'm being very lazy again. I'm using my phone. But I just realized my phone is very low on energy, so I might have to change this midstream. We'll wait and see. But anyway, let's let's carry on where we were. Um, I'm still in the starting system. I've been in the starting system now for six hours uh, because it's such a good little starting system. Um, there's a little bit of radiation, if I can remember. But other than that... Um, I can survive and there's plenty of um, minerals that I could use. So I'm still going to go around the starting system for this uh, for today for these two hours. Uh, so it might appear to be a little bit boring at times because I have to do some mineral searching in space. But I'm, my main aim is to get the carbon, um, which is red, sulfur, which is very important, which is yellow on the yellow minerals and hydrogen. I think it's the blue one. And also, um, in space, I need to pick up some minerals for my engines and gold. Gold is important because I can actually sell gold and raise as much cash as i got. I've got about two million in the, in the bank, as it's called. So the game's hopefully now loading up. It's meant to be black at the moment, by the way, so don't panic. <laughs> So back to No Man's Sky, which has had a recent update, and don't compare this game to what it was a couple of years ago. A couple of years ago it was terrible. Now it's much, much better. Um, a lot of things have improved in this game since the initial release, and I was there when it initially was released. So, like for instance, the tutorial now is much better. It's much more user-friendly. Um, It's definitely worth playing. What do I need to check? Actually, you will see a couple of different screens for a second, so my apologies. Um, I need to just quickly go over to see. There, I'm actually watching what you're watching. <laughs> That's qu quite uh, nifty. Anyway, back into the game. <laughs> So this this episode is um, this gameplay of No Man's Sky is just me collecting some more minerals and trying to raise as much cash as I can and remember where I am. So I'm on Donut Delta, which is the second planet of the system. Uh, Donut Prime is my main system, and there's my ship. My ship is still the same as it was. So this is a free ship. I never got this in the first place. I actually. Um, I started ship I started off with, obviously, and that disappeared, and somehow I got this one. So you can't complain there. So I'm in uh, Donut Delta, which is a nice second second planet to have. Um, what I'm aiming to is try to raise as much cash as I can to get a better analysis tool. Analysis tool is the one I just used there. 
because basically if I get a better analysis tool every time I discovered something brand new it gives me more units so for instance so on this planet for instance um, a lot of it is pretty pretty new um, Donut Prime the planet I started off I explored quite a bit of it so I discovered quite a lot of things but as you can see here I'm collecting carbon carbon is an really something you should have a lot of um, but I need to check on my health my health seems all right let's see my what yeah my assist tool at the moment is just a bog standard normal one I want to get a much better analysis tool but that of course costs um, nanite clusters as it's called which is up there um, and I need about 500 odds so I'm very close to getting it so that's cool but at the moment I'm collecting this is in my starship what I've got the main things you need is um, carbon sulfur sulfur is for sodium sorry sodium is for your health carbon is for your engines oxygen is for your oh so sorry sodium is for your shields oxygen is for your health carbon is for your ships and various other things and also i've got um this is from me being in space around shooting asteroids a lot of gold which is worth nearly seven hundred thousand units that's going to help so much uh tritium i think that's how you say it is for my um it's not worth a lot but this is for my engines and then silver can also be sold not as valuable as gold but there you go and so yeah i'm doing pretty well on building up these uh, resources all from my starter planets so i need to figure out what i'm going to do next um i feel like going back to prime but i think i might have to go to go to the star the star station whatever you call it to just sell the gold just in case i get um pirated so i'm gonna aim for space aim for the space station which is coming if you look on the little radar screen there it is it's right there very handy very handy to be very close to that so that's what I'm just aiming for I'm just aiming for that so I'm gonna go quickly here and sell my gold that I've just built up but obviously there's a lot of asteroids around here as well so which you'll eventually see there they are they're coming right now so I did spend about half an hour if you can remember on the previous episode just shooting all these <laughs> Because when you shoot them, you get... Oh, so for instance, I've got some silver, which I can sell. So yes, this this might not be the most riveting of episodes, because I am going to do a lot of um, resource gathering from outer space. But again, anything that comes up with silver, I can sell. Anything that comes up with gold, I can sell. So trying to build up a nice little bit of a capital why not getting shot is also very handy aha uh -huh. who have we got there sadly I can't view my um, Twitter screen very well because of course this is display catcher this is not um, a game catcher on my OBS which is annoying so Whoever that was, I can't actually say hello until I see it come up. <laughs> Typical, isn't it? But thank you very much, whoever that was. Let's see if I can find it. Oh! Ashley. Ash Ashley. <laughs> thank you for the follow. It's finally coming up. Welcome. Hope you are well. That's the one thing I forgot to do is check my chat window is working. If you are chatting, um, please excuse me. My somehow my chatting window is not working at the moment. So let's see if I can change that. I'll change to a different screen. See if that works on my phone. I'll just type the work message again. Yay! It's working. So I can actually see chat now. Woohoo! Thanks for the follow, by the way. Much appreciated. All right. Well, my little mini aims of when I'm starting this stream is to try to get to 100 followers on um, Twitch. 
I used to call Twitch Twitter. <laughs> it's not. Oh, goal. Did you just see that? Goal just came up on the screen, which means um, I can sell some gold. Woohoo! But anyway, I need to go to this space station because I'm going to be. I'm going to be distracted by stain mining all the time, which I was last time. But you just can't help it sometimes. Um, where's that space station gone? Oh, it's down here. It's using the, the Elite radar. If you ever played Elite, this radar system right in front of me is very similar to that. Should be right to over here. Can't see it. Hmm. Let's go down, 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 down. Where are you? Where are you? Let's get it. Let's, let's boost my engines a bit. Oh, there you are. You're right there. Fix. Oh. Tritillium. I, I gotta pronounce that correctly one day. Bit more silver I can sell. Oop. Right, where's the space station? I really need to get to that space station. Oh, gold nugget. Gold nuggets are good because that means when you unblock. Unblock. When you um, analyze the gold nugget. You get a lot more. Um, same, you get a lot more in one little nugget. <laughs> I know what I mean. Anyway, I'm getting distracted by because I like I just like shooting asteroids <laughs> for some strange reason. Oh, that's a big one. All right, let's let's go to the space station before I I'm here for about an hour. I wasn't expecting to do much today on this one. So, let's just uh, look at my inventory. So, here's the clusters. For instance, if you see that, 7,788. Now, if I unlock that by analysing it, it goes to... Oh, it's, it's changed into something else. It's changed to an antimatter. Oh, that's nifty. I, I thought they'd just go to um, change into more of this, but no, it's changed into actually something else. And antimatter is actually very useful. Now, gold. Gold will be different. So, 2017 in gold. If I analyze this, it goes up to 2094. So, that's handy. Anyway, let's get to this space station before I forget. Oh, I'm going to keep saying that. Ah! Uh -huh. Sometimes when you go really fast though, you can crash into a um, asteroid, so I've got to be very careful there. Asteroids are surrounding all the planets of my star system, so that's handy. So, I will be doing a lot of asteroid shooting today. I know that's not exactly the most riveting. How far is the space station? Scan it. I try not to use my um oh quite as more asteroids. I think that's a space station. That looks that awfully looks like a space station. Just my scanner is not saying it's um it's not coming up with it. Oh, let's go to it anyway. All silver. All the silver and gold I'm I'm getting at the moment I'm gonna sell. I am going to sell. I forgot I've got a um very maneuverable ship now. I'm not used to <laughs> doing things like that. Anyway, I'm getting close. That does look like a very strange space station to me. Another asteroid field. I could put the pulse engine, which makes it get there quicker, but I'm so close to it anyway. I'm not going to waste anything. There you go. That's the space station. It looks like a big yellow pool ball, I suppose that's how you describe it. Oh, 
what I'd describe it anyway. So this is very simple compared to Elite Dangerous, takes you, which took me bloody ages to land. Here you just aim for the blue light, blue light, and it takes you straight away in there. Nice and easy. I'm going to land and sell some stuff. And I'll hopefully when I come back, this ship, I still have this ship. <laughs> Press E to jump out. That's me. Okay, let's get up to... Now, if I remember, I think it's over here. Run over to the gun plank. That's it. Nicey, nicey, nicey. Say hello to everyone. Hello, everyone. Hope you're well. Go over to the Galactical Terminal, which is not there. So it must be in this build. Oh, there it is. It's that one there. They look very similar. And start selling stuff. It's, it's important to sell my gold and silver now because there's always chances that, that um, because I'm carrying such valuable stuff, the pirates might come and try to get it off me, which I've heard they do a lot. So anyway, um, this is my suit stuff at the moment. Any of my suit stuff I can get rid of. Not really. Um, I've got scaly meat for some strange reason. Don't know why I've got that. So I'm that's some scaly meat I'm going to get rid of. Oh, someone else is with me. Uh, switch. One thing I also need to do, just remember, whoops, it's not that screen, is um, options. Okay, I need to get out of this. Because I'm because I'm trying to you guys, I need to change my um, voice settings. Ah, it's disabled. Oh, I've done it already. Okay, that's good. I'm learning. Okay, let's go back. Let's switch. Now, this is all. This is important stuff. I've got 1,200, 1, 1, 1.2 million actual units, actual money at the moment. So I'm selling. So that should really go up in a minute with the um, the gold I'm going to sell. There you go. Oh, it's gold nugget. I need to undo that in a minute. So there you go. 683 credits I'm going to get it for. So that's cool. And that should really go up to 1.9 million. That's nice. Uh, silver. Sell silver. Not as much, but 2.1 million. Anything else I can sell that I don't really need at the moment? Cobalt I need, copper I need, sodium I need, carbon I need. Platinum I don't think I rip. That's um, that could be useful for my uh, engines actually. Antimatter I can keep. Actually, that's not too bad. Right. Savage data I can I can sell one of those for units. Oh, actually, so you can't sell it for nanite clusters. Okay, I'll keep it then. I originally thought you could sell this for nanite clusters, but you can't. Rusted metal. Now, you think rusted metal is useless, but I can actually make that into fernite, so that's worth keeping. Uh, anything else? There's fernite there. No, actually. Sulfine. Oh, I can sell that, because I don't think I'm going to have any use for that. Syndicate power. I can sell powder. Units received. Just making room for my suit so I can go back out and get stuff. Okay, that's not too bad. 2.1. Now, is there anything? Oh, wiring loom. I think wiring loom is always very handy to have. Um, need to find it again. Where is it? There it is. By two of those, I think. They're always, they're always useful for buying things, uh, making things. Iron batteries. Now that's good to be used for my uh, shield. So I can buy. Yeah, using variety of defensive hazard protection systems. Yeah, this is, this is also um, instead of um, using sodium, I can buy some of these batteries that I can put into my suit as well. So it's alternatives, and they're not too bad actually. Let's buy a few of those.
So that'll help me out a bit. Okay. Don't want to buy too much. So if I look at my suit, there you go, the battery's in there. So that will help my uh, suit hazard protection system. So which will be there, which is actually quite full at the moment. So I don't need to put any in at the moment. Oxygen's 82%. That's cool. That's good. I'm safe. Right. Let's go, Nick. Nick? Did I say Nick? I didn't mean Nick. I mean, just let's just pick up some freebies from here, if there's any. We just need, I just need to explore. Oops, I got accomplish. I'm a tycoon and a magnet now. Woohoo! That's just picking up all that gold from space, basically. This, you can see why I'm, I like to stay in my starting system, because I'm making money already. And this will increase my reputation. Now, this guy is, oh, this is an analyst, I don't want to see him. This guy's a merchant, he wants me to do a couple of jobs. This guy is a um, mission agent, okay, he's another one, he wants me to do jobs. I think it's on the other side where I will um, get some useful stuff for my ship and all that. No, nothing there. It's always worth going in there sometimes because you can pick up free carbon. I need to go over there. Uh, it's my lovely ship, which I got for free somehow. It's always good to chat to a couple of people as well. Even though I can't really speak any of their language at the moment. Oh, I know the word is and traveller. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Okay, I don't need to... Uh, vist oh, I've visited. That means I've seen them already. Visited. Does that mean I've seen them already? Visited? I think it does. Hey, old man, how you doing, mate? You alright? Playing something different today. My um, episode three of my Oxygen United series is out now. Oh, practice language skills. This is pretty new because you never had this in the original game. Does he like me saying Traveller? Oh, he likes it. Yeah, episode 3 Marks United series has just been uh, released today. Each Ox uh, United YouTube series is released at 12 o'clock on Saturdays, and it's Saturday today. What did I get? Oh, I got a standing increased. Oh, that's good. That means I'm more buddies with people. Right, let's head to the other side and start to see if I can do buy anything for my ship. My lovely ship which somehow I got free <laughs> now this is interesting my ship is worth 10 million I'm just gonna see how much if that is a true value of 10 million or if it was truly a bug that happened that I got that ship the only way I can find out is exchanging ships and don't worry I'm not going to exchange my ship I just want to see if the true value of the ship comes up here make an offer Negotiate price. Like I'm not going to have this ship. This ship is. Let me see. Yeah, it's a true ship. I somehow have got a ship that's worth 4.2 million <laughs> for free. So I could, for instance, I could buy this ship outright now if I want to, for 770,000 units. I won't because it's not worth it. But it means I can have a second ship. But for instance, if I find a ship which carries a lot more of these slots, then I will buy it outright because then I can use it to store more gold, make more money, blah, 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 blah. But 16 slots, 17 slots. So you actually get one more slot here. But you can see here that um, the shield strength is the same. Harvey Drive is better on this ship, actually. Uh, but the damage, my damage on this one's much better than that one. And anyway, my, cool, my, my ship looks much, much better. <laughs> but I will look around now finding other cool ships. I need to see um, what these ships are worth. But I'm going to make money by farming gold and stuff like that. And that 2 million will then hopefully go up to 10 million and I'll be in a much better position. Like this is a B-class ship. So this ship is actually quite, quite nice. 
it's worth just 2 million, 2.28 million. I cannot buy it outright yet because I'm <laughs> I'm just 230,000 units short, which is annoying. 24 slots, so a lot more slots here. Um, hyperdrive's better, shield strength is better. You can see it by the little green thing. But the damage on this one, this one when it shoots pirates, haha, <laughs> you're dead. This one is more like a freighter. But it's B class though, B class, C class, B class, A class. So overall, this ship I would have got if I had a lot more money. But it's a bit too early at the moment. 24 slots, because basically I can store loads of gold here, loads of carbon. Um, so I could exchange if I want to, but it makes no sense because my ship, even though it's not so good, it's worth a lot more because the movability of this and the damage potential is much higher. So I prefer keeping this forever, basically. And also I got it free as well. So there you go. So I now know that my ship is actually truly worth 4 million. But when you buy these ships, they cost about 10. <laughs> but various ships will come and go here. So I'm not going to miss out. I just need to raise a bit more money. So I need to do some farming, basically. The good old-fashioned farming. Which means I will need to um, go up into space. I need to shoot asteroids, get some gold, go to, uh, I think, yeah, get some more uh, natural resources from other planets. I might have to go to the moon, the moon planet we've got in this system. Because basically in my starter system, I've got three planets, Donut, De uh, Donut Prime, Donut Delta, another planet, and a moon. And sadly, the moon, where all the really good stuff is, um, in minerals, like pure minerals they're called. Um, it's, <laughs> it's not the most friendliest of planets. It's got the police who are based there are very, very, very um, dangerous at times. If you do one wrong move, you're dead, <laughs> basically. Oh, what's this? Starship out of thing, purchase improvements. Oh, okay. The drones. Available upgrades. Upgrade class. Oh, can you upgrade your class? That's good. Can I upgrade my class to C to B or A? Improve storage for free. Oh, crikey. Look how many units you need, though. Bloody hell. This is another reason. Update class. 10,000 nanites. Jeez, that's going to take you a long time. Okay, at least I know... If I raise 14 million, if I can purchase storage, improve storage for free. Uh, no, we need 14 million. Okay. Well, again, that never appeared in the original game, and also this appeared, I think, two updates ago. I can actually change my appearance, so I'm going to finally have a look at myself. There's me. This is the first time I've seen myself, and it's what been seven hours in the game. So there's me. I'm gonna. What race shot? I could be a traveller. Oh, that's crap. That's that's quite nifty, isn't it? I look like a um, <laughs> polygon of some sort. Uh, Corvax, who's this race? I Corvax. I'm in the Corvax um, area. You know that by when I was picking up language skills, it all came in Corvax. Or I can go to Viking. Oh God, yeah, purple, geek. These are all the races of the game. A nominee. Uh, I I might be. Oh, and you can have presets outfits. So I'm that one. You can go for that one. That one. It's great selections here. I like. I do like the helmet of that. Looks. That looks a bit Star Warsy. Now I'm a massive Star Wars fan. So I might. I might save that one in a minute. Uh, five. Oh, that looks like a snow trooper. Rotate camera. Okay, there you go. Six, seven. Oh God, very pinky. Nine. They're all cool outfits, these. And for instance, you can then change it. To, oh, look at that for a head. Wow. That's so cool. Oh, cracky. So these have definitely been updated since the game. 
some real weird amazing I do like that one actually um hold on it's number three isn't it save okay so I'm going to save that one so I'm, I can go back to but what, what one's the trooper which helmet do I like do I like that one or do I like that one that one save right let's let's I'm going to change a couple of things in here. Race is done. Body shape. Crikey. <laughs> well, he's going to be quite tall, I think. So... Oh, that will do, I suppose. Now, the head. You can change all different colours here. So, mark, so, head type. Helmet type. So, I can change the helmet to... I can go back to the other helmet if I wanted to. That's a cool helmet. I do like that one though. Oh god, there's so many choices. Um, no, I'll, let's stick to the one I did like originally. Uh, I can change the markings, which is basically try to make the camera go around a bit. Oh, it doesn't really matter. Or oh, no markings at all. No markings. Primary colour, I like it to be black. And a bit of orange. What, what does black and white look like? Oh, not too bad, actually. Okay, let's keep it. Oh, well, I think I'm going to keep the torso basically a standard black colour. Primary colour, black. Secondary colour, light blue. Okay, oh, that's the armour. That's that strange colour. Okay, let's change it to black. I'm going to be very boring. I'm going to make him mostly wearing black. Armour style. Yeah, I don't like that armour style. Uh, yeah, that's better. Gloves. Black. Glove style. Standard gloves. Okay, that's cool. Legs. Yeah, I don't like him with massive uh, hips. Cool, this is looking good. You can each have markings. Uh, nah. Boots. You got it. All black. Oh yeah, that's nifty boots. Oh, actually, that's even better boots. His backpack. Backpack style. Oh, I'll get our cows. Yeah, I need to get a jetpack. Oh no, I got a jetpack. What am I on about? That's nifty. Okay, black, meh, meh. How's he looking? Not too bad. Banner. Oh, okay. This is the logo type. So emblem. Ah, okay, I can see it behind my screen. There's various lots here. Hmm. The shield is fine. Oop, no, wrong, wrong way round. That'll do. Is that it? Yeah, he looks alright. Save changes. Yes. Okay. Now, other people will see me like this. I will not. So, now let's see if I can. Hello. How are you today? Uh, upgrades for my. Now, does this cost nanites? Because I do not need the nanites for something else. Yeah, it does. Alright, I can't buy anything yet until I get my analysis tool. Um, yeah, your vehicles. Where's the mortal tool guy? Your starship. There's nothing I could do for my starship. Where's the... Oh, there you go. There's the mortal tool. How much is it for the mortal tool? Because this could be useful. Uh, 
oh, 3. Point more million units. Yeah, I definitely need to raise a lot more units to get better mold tools and so, so it's going to take a while. Never mind. I have a way of raising money. It's not the end of the world. The way of raising money, obviously, is I'm going to try to get more gold, sell more gold, like I did today already, and I've got 2 million units. I do not want to leave my star system yet until I really, really, really need to. So I need to pick up some minerals and stuff. Okay, let's head off. So that was Donut Delta where so I need to head over to there's the moon that's the moon where the uh, very touchy police are Hold on a second. I'm just thinking of what I'm going to do next. <laughs> uh. Space is big, you can get lost here. Yeah, I could go to this, this moon. It's got very good, rich minerals, but it's got very... The, the security drones are really way over the top. So I might um, I might be a wuss and go to somewhere else. Um, I could go back to my own planet, Donut Prime, where I first started, which is a little bit of a journey away. Um, I need to look on the map and try to find it again. Um, yeah. There's the space station. I think Donut Prime is right in the distance. So, yeah, I need to figure out how to use the uh, how to use the classical chart and all that because it's a Just checking a couple of things that's just happened in real life. So I am, I am alive. Right, um, got a space station there. We've got Plane Beagle. Oh, I forgot about Plane Beagle. I forgot what that planet had. Uh, that's our other planet. Um, Plane Beagle, so that's, that's Donut Delta. There's the horrible moon. That's Plain Beagle, isn't it? No, that's Donut Prime. Oh, there's Home. Home is right over there. Oh, okay. There. This is handy. All the planets are very close. I can go to each one I want. High radio source planet. Ooh. Do not know what that means, but ooh. 
Um, where's Pain Beagle? There's Pain Beagle. I might go to Pain Beagle actually. I can because I've forgotten what's there. <laughs> So um, yeah, I'm I'm intrigued. We're we're in a great little area here because you can see around me, I've got Donut Delta there. We got the horrible moon there. We've got um, my home where I first started, Donut Prime there, and we've got Plain Beagle there. Now I need to discover a lot of new things. Because when I discover things, I get nanites, and if I get enough nanites, I can go back to the space station and get my analysis to upgrade. So yeah, that's a plan. That's a good plan. Let's do that. Right, take it will take me 15 minutes, me just doing this, getting there. This is how big this game is. So I might be a wuss. I might actually put the pulse engine in. But as you always, as you remember, I've now sold all my gold, so I need to start doing a bit of let's shoot this asteroid in the way game again to raise some more money because if you look at my inventory my yeah oh I've got the golden nugget actually just realized two of them 114 gold already that's a good start so I've got 40k and oh and straight away I've got another gold nugget oh no um 14k oh that's gold more gold If I get at least um, as much gold as I did last time, which will take a long time though. Okay, so I must have found something else. Um, is there anything here I can get rid of now? No, I need all this. Oh, I can get rid of the hypercrusters because they can be made into... There you go. Done it. So, yeah, so the whole point at the moment in No Man's Sky is to... Get as much gold as possible and raise as much units as possible. Then I can get better ships, I can get better tools. There's, yeah, there's other ways of getting the tools and stuff like that by going through the actual game process. Because um, it tells me I need to make a uh, base computer and stuff. So I can go through the game, the actual game process, or I can just do a bit of free roaming which is what I'm doing at the moment I'm just shooting anything that that means it's finding other stuff other than then my what I've got here um, yeah gold's 125 44k at the moment this could I could be on doing this for the next couple of hours if I wanted to But anyway, I'm not going to. I'm going to go to Plain Beagle. Which was actually, yes, it was named by me. And let's discover a lot of stuff. So I'm going to put the pulse engines in. It means basically we're speeding time. So instead of 15 minutes, it's going to take me 30 seconds. I'll land on the planet, see what I can find, take off, shoot some more asteroids, get some more gold, go to the space station, cash in all my gold, buy the analysis tool, and then I can analyse more stuff. So I'm trying not to analyse too much because I want to come back and, and analyse even more stuff, and I get even more money. But I need to get at least 580 nanites and I got 489 so I need to analyze a couple of plants it might it won't it won't take me too long to be honest should not take me too long um, if I go keep an eye on what I'm doing so I don't want to crash into the planet 
No, is there anything I have not actually um, declared yet? Okay. Yeah, I'll rather do all the computer work while I'm actually landed in the planet, not when I'm trying to land. It's a bit dangerous if I got my took my eye off this. We're slowly going down. You can hear the ship slowly. Oh, well, obviously. The engine should be dying down a bit now. As we're going through the clouds, looks like we're landing at night, which is not ideal. Now, the only bad thing about these planets is that we're in um, a barren system. You're not going to see any green trees or anything, I'm afraid. You're going to just see rock, more rock, and even more rock. So if you love rocks, you're in a great system here. Now this is a very weird little, little looking planet actually. You can see it's got floating, I can't describe what they look like, but it's it's very, um yeah. It looks like floating Rubik's cubes. It's a very mellow place this actually. But of course I can crash into these things, so I've got to watch what I'm doing. So I need to land somewhere. And that's my ship making those little noises. For instance, if I shoot this, do I get anything? Oh, no. Ah, I'm going to crash into it. Yep. Ouch. I'm still learning how to fly this ship. This fits so maneuverable compared to my other ship. Uh, okay, I need to land somewhere. This is a very weird planet. Ah, now, thinking about it, have I got the planets the wrong way around? Is this the moon, the horrible planet? Does look familiar. Sentinels, limited. No, good. Sentinels are the drones, the people who look after the uh, the planet. Limited means there's not many of them around. A ferrite dust, ferrite dust. I need to, right, let's go to my computer and now do what I was going to do. But I'm safe now, catalog. Is there any of these I have not just checked in yet? Um, Conflict level at war. Uh, that's a bit ominous. Uh, high security. Crap. I think we've landed on the moon. That planet I didn't want to land in. I think it's this one. Because the security is high. Ah. Well, they shouldn't affect me too much if I don't, um, yeah, pure fur, right? This is the moon. This is the planet I didn't want to land on. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I've got to be really careful. If I don't nick anything valuable, I'm fine. Of course my weapon has uh, technology. Uh, where are you, where are you, where are you? Oh no, that's my suit. Oh, it's my motor tool, isn't it? Uh, of course. Carbon. Charge you up. Oh, a little bit of oxygen as well, that's always good. Um, let's put the scanner around. Is there anything around here that's valuable? O2. What's that over there? I wonder. That's a bit more. Um, there's, there's not much here. There's O2. O2, which is handy. Uh, well, what is here? At least it's useful for what I need, but there's not much variation. Yeah. Their glowy stuff is the stuff that um, is valuable. Silver. Oh, okay. Handy.
A lot of silver in one go here. Silver is worth a bit. How much silver am I getting? Um, 84. Okay. And also, because I've got silver in my ship already, I can just quickly transfer it over and it won't cost me any more room, which is handy. Now, I need to find a gold. I think gold was here, isn't it? When we first entered this planet, it said there's gold here. So if, if I can find a gold version of this, that would be ideal. Save me shooting a lot of uh, rocks in space. <laughs> so how much silver is that? For 146, can I move it? Quick transfer, am I close enough to my ship? No, it's just out of range. This is a strange planet though. Again, anything valuable, I've got to be very wary because the police, or oh, they're drones, but they are literally called police. Oops, wrong, wrong go. That's definitely need that. Um, they're a lot more touchy here. Is there combat in the game or just exploration? Oh, there's combat. There's definitely combat. Sorry, old man. I was on a different screen. Didn't see you there. Uh, yeah, there's definitely combat. I'm just trying to avoid the combat at the moment because <laughs> I'm just, I have not really got a gun. <laughs> uh, anything around here? I don't want to go too long, too far away. Ooh, what's that? Is that? Oh, is that the silver I've just been to? Yeah, my scanner's still charging. Uh, come on, scanner. This is a weird planet. It's very mellow noises coming from it. I think, yeah, that's... I try to find the gold version of this. It's going to be difficult. Look how weird this planet is though. Wow. Oh, well, hold on. What's that? Subterranean relic. That could be valuable. So I tag it, which means I don't have to press the other screen. So it means I need to get my tool thingy out because it looks like I need to d uh, dug underground. Now this could potentially be dangerous, of course, because if this is valuable, the um, basically the drones who are protecting this planet will, will not be happy with me. Oh, it's under there. Okay. Can I jump down? I suppose I could. Ah, I'm in a cave. Now, me and caves don't normally get on. Oh, there you go. There it is. It's just here. So what is this? I just hope these drones don't come at me. It's a vortex cube. Oh, okay. Vortex cubes are worth 5,000. Extremely rare and of high value. Yeah, well, just one of them is only worth 5,000. That's not a lot. Um, oh, is that another one? Oh, well. It's better than nothing, I suppose. Or Trey Hobart, whatever that is. 12,000. Wow. That's worth more than a cube. So yeah, there is definitely combat in this game. It's just um, I haven't really got the better gun to do anything like this. Uh, ox Oxygen-rich plant. Distant 183 units. It's a bit of a journey. Um, yeah. I've land Again, I've landed in the planet I don't really want to be in. So, Plain Beagle is the dangerous moon that we found out last time we were here. So, I want to try the other planet. So, I need to find my ship, which is right over there. Oh, unidentified. So, I can pick up some stuff here. 500. 500 nanites. Or is that units? No, it's units. Okay, but if I go to discoveries, 
two discovered for I haven't found that. Uh, whoops, jump the screen. Discoveries, minerals. There you go. Discovered five days ago. Oh, okay. I've, I've already allocated it. <laughs> yeah, but I've just discovered something. So I should be able to... Um, there it is. That's what I was looking for. That up power re upload. Uh, I was going to upload it and uh, free nanonite clusters. Is that all? Oh well, free and four hundred ninety two. <laughs> it's better than nothing, I suppose. Up another three. Still need about another hundred before I can get my analysis tool. Anyway, let's uh, try not to get lost. Head to my ship and head to the place where I thought I was going to originally. Plain Be so Plain Beagle is the moon with the high security. Very weird looking planet, of course. Oh, oxygen rich. That's good. Oh, one thing I've noticed, this planet is environmentally friendly. What I mean by that is normally bottom left hand corner you'll see radiation or very cold or very hot or anything like that. Nothing is coming up, which means I can stay here as long as I want and don't get hit by radiation or anything like that. Problem is there's, there's literally nothing here except for ferrite, ferrite dust, oxygen, which is yeah, which is handy. There's no sodium here though, the yellow plant. But it's a weird, it's definitely a weird planet this one. But anyway, I'm, I want to go to a different one. Let's go through the atmosphere. Shoot some asteroids while we're here. Just oh, that was gold. Aha. Silver, of course, I can sell. Gold, I can sell. And the uh, tritium, whatever it's called. I can, that's it, that, that's used to power my engines, because if I go to technology and if I go to launch thrusters, which I actually need to do, I oh, need to put launch fuel in, launch thruster, oh that's a bit that makes me um, go out of the planet, pulse engine, deuterium, hyperdrive, which I can actually make warp cells and stuff if I want to now. Um, so I need to get uranium. So I can either buy uranium. Uranium is so I can launch. So if I land on this other planet, I probably won't be able to take off until I'll build s some launch fuel or something. So, anyway, where am I meant to be going? That's that's the moon I just literally took off. Plain Beagle, yeah, or Bagel, sorry. So I don't want to go there. So I need to look into the heavens and see what other planets I can find. So I can. Okay, there's one there. Is that Donut Prime or Delta? More gold. Let's put down this tool. I forgot what plan that one is.
Ah, that's Delta. Yeah, of course. That's the one we were originally at. So that must be... That's Prime. That's Home. So if I remember, the other planet's on the right-hand side here somewhere. The one we were meant to originally go to. It's, uh, it's right over there. I think it's that right beyond Delta. Yeah, it's Relic Major. That's where we want to go. Pulse engines, let's get there quickly. No, originally would have taken us about an hour to get there. Instead it took us, what, 55 seconds? Got plenty of fuel in the pulse engine, that's cool. That's quick. You've got to keep an eye on where you're going on this game. So, I I think this is the planet which we haven't explored too much because one of my friends discovered this um, when I was down on the on the original planet, my original starting planet. I could not go into space, so I asked one of my friends who could just to explore my existing area, and uh, she explored this planet. So hence why the name of this planet is slightly more different to the other planets. It doesn't have a uh, donut theme. So this planet I could have not explored much in. So I need to well, just see what I can find basically. Discover things, get those nanites up. So, I'm letting the computer do this. I'm not actually doing this at the moment. I'm just letting it land. <laughs> as soon as we reach a point, then you will see me take over. And it's actually going to be in the next couple of seconds. So, I haven't seen this planet much or in much detail. So, this is going to be quite intriguing. So, you can see I'm now taking control. Yeah, it's another rocky planet. Again, I have to say that my starting system here in Donut... Donut land is pretty barren. We don't have trees here. We don't see any green here. <laughs> this is quite intriguing. Again, an eerie sound to the planet. So I, I've not really explored this planet much. Oh, look at that view though. Lovely view of um, the rings. This is yeah, like a Saturn, I suppose. That is a weird, weird, weird plant. That I wonder what that is. See if my scanner can pick up anything. That is, ah, I've never seen a. Wow. That is a weird looking structure. This is definitely a weird type place, isn't it? Let's have. Let's land somewhere and then we'll do quickly a bit of exploring. Uh, yeah, I need to find somewhere flat though. Oh, here we go. We're landing! I would say one big step for mankind, but someone else discovered this, not me. So this is a, a fragment. Oh, this is the moon. Okay, this is the moon that I never went to. But you can see here, I haven't been here much because everything here is identified. So I need to identify it. I have to use my scanning tool and get some money for it. 200 units just for that. So it's now telling me what it is. It's now cobalt. Oh, cobalt is good. Cobalt's nice, useful. Red. Red is always good. Condensed carbon. Oops. That's when you get the right tool, of course. Condensed carbon is like the net. You get carbon and then you get condensed carbon. Condensed carbon is better than carbon. <laughs> Makes sense, doesn't it? These are weird structures. Look at that. That's creepy. That is very creepy. 
very um it's like metal metal yeah that's that's weird right scan is up so what have we got here we've got hydrogen crystals anything blue is useful anything red is useful anything yellow is very useful i can't see any yellow it's donut prime and donut delta the only two places i've got sodium this is weird but this is what makes this game so good because this is so random something else to scan and yes there is there is some sound to this planet i haven't got the music up much to be honest but i think in the background you can hear some eerie sort of like sounds oh actually it's pointing up what's that humming sack uh yeah i think that's that could be quite valuable actually let's see what's a humming sack that could be a pearl and pearls are worth quite a bit it's minus 22 degrees here so it's not warm ah uh, we are on a planet though so it does make kind of sense shiny 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 More units discovered. Now, where's this humming sack? Is it down here? 20 units. 20 U's. Basically, um, that's how 20 U's is like miles or yards. It's right above it. Okay. Change the. I need to. <laughs> I'm gonna. This is gonna be. I'm gonna drop down the ground. I need to. Oops. No. No. There you go. I have to drop down here, which is going to be dangerous because I don't know if I can get back up again. But, oh, there you go. Destination reached. Okay, where is it then? Oh, ah! Whew! just saved myself there I dropped all the way from up there Whew. lucky I used a jetpack to stop me falling there's the sack so what is it yeah. oh, it's a pearl just like donut prime and pearls are worth where's the pearl in here Oh, there it goes. They've moved it over to cargo. 9,000 units just for one pearl. Not bad. Actually, not bad. More stuff to discover. There's a lot of new things here. Now, if, if my analysis tool was top graded, I would get so many more units for this. Just unfortunate that I have to um, upgrade it first. Oh, silver. That's unusual. Second component. No, oops, no, wrong tool. Twenty-five cobalt and four silver. Mm, not a lot, but hey. Okay, let's see if I can cash some of these in. Um, minerals, that's it. Okay, I can cash all these in. Now, there's a way of uploading them all. Three nanites. <laughs> Three nanites! So I'm up to 513 nanite clusters. That's good. That's good. So I need to get, say, 600 to be safe. I need 600 to get safe and... Yeah, so this is my little system, basically. Um, oh, here we go. I thought there was an upload. 29 nanites. Ah, that's handy. Uh, so basically, this is my starting system. It's eight hours in the game. 
I haven't really started it yet <laughs> and I'm already eight hours in so Donut Prime is where I started that's where I, I crash landed Donut Delta is where we first started today Plain Beagle is the planet which has got the high security and we've been there today and we're currently as that little icon says we're currently in the moon so this will be called Plain Beagle Moon or something I suppose um, I can't rename it sadly Again, if you're if you're watching this, then welcome. Hope you're having fun. Me trying not to get lost. So I've got 542 nanite clusters. So I basically need 600 to go back to the space station. And oh, there's some humming sacks over here. Ah, hazardous thingies. Do not like hazardous thingies. Oh, that's sodium as well. Take that, you horrible little smelly creature. Sodium. Sodium is... Oh, what do you mean? The inventory is full. I need to get rid of something which is definitely not worth anything like that. Sodium is for my suit. But I need to shoot these before they shoot me. So would you say this is combat? Kind of. I guess. They are, they are trying to shoot me. That's sodium. So sodium is to um, help my shield or my suit basically. But I just noticed these humming stacks over here. So I can um, sell these. There's one. Another way of making money. Not as much as gold, but hey, it's easier. So if I look at my cargo, that should be 45,000 units. That's okay. Oh, something else to identify. <laughs> Anything that's got question marks is good to me. There's no life forms on this planet. That's one thing at least Donut um, Prime and Delta both have. They have life forms and they are weird creatures. So I need to um, find out more stuff I don't know and also at the same time try not to get lost. Oh, horrible, smelly, hazardous flora thingy. Gives me a bit more oxygen though. It's very quiet down here. Oh, it's got more of those, um, they are very pretty looking, aren't they? Oh, identify, that's cool. And it's a question mark ahead as well. What's, what is the question mark? Is that humming sax? Oh, it's an electric cube. I do not know what an electric cube is. <laughs> Aha. Shall we go and find out what this electric cube is? Horribles, plant. Horrible plant that gives me oxygen. <laughs> there it is, there's the electric cube. Electric cube, you can pick it up. Oh, what do you mean, Ninja People? Does that mean I can't get it? No! Damn. Um, I need to get rid of something, which I do not need. Uh, problem is, as always, a lot of this I do need. Rusted metal, take that off. Have I lost it? Ah, uh, you're kidding me. I need to find another electric cube. <laughs> I'm just intrigued to find out what electric cube is. Is there any around here? Copper. Copper is always good. There's nothing there. Copper. There's loads of copper. Oh, 
sack, sack. Oh, it's a humming sack. Okay. Actually, that means there must be another cave or something up here. Also, when you get lost in a cave, you can dig yourself out by using this. That's if, of course, you've got enough uh, energy in your tool. Oh, God, it looks like I'm going to dig a long way underground here. Not the ideal way to get this blinking hum and sack, I must admit, by having to dig my way f to get there. Lucky I've got enough carbon that I can actually do this. So I'm going to dig a little cross channel tunnel here to find another cave. So I'm, that electric thing has not happened, so it must have got destroyed, which is annoying. So, yep, we're in another cave, um, which is annoying because I wanted to know what it was. So I'm hoping we will find another one. There's the honey sacks right there. I think there's more here. So this is a cave leading to another cave. So again, I'm actually not, oops, hold on a second. Oh no, wrong tool. I haven't actually started really, I haven't really started the main game yet, but I just like exploring. <laughs> oh, electric cube, found one. Tag it, so I know where it is. It's going to be over here somewhere. Is it right up there? So I need to change the tool of my multi-tool. Oh, I know why I'm getting um, inventory full, because every time I dig into earth, it says the, uh, I need to get rid of the silicon powder. Oh, there it is. Okay, I need to get up there somehow. Hey, I'm back on land again. Oh, it's daylight as well. Now get rid of the silicon powder, which I didn't do last time. And now I can actually find out what this is. Well, I hope it is. New item records catalog, electric cube. Uh, what does that mean then? Electric cube. Thousand units, rare subized glitch, retrieved from malfunctioning planets, safe for rehousing in habitable bases. Oh. Used for building. Okay, slightly disappointed there. So basically, it's um, like an ornament you can have in your house. This is a weird, weird moon. I was going to say planet there, but I just realised this is actually a moon, isn't it? Look at that. This is weird. This is like, I don't know. How can you describe this moon? It just looks weird. Um, and the ship is only over there, so I'm not too far away from my ship, so that's good, that's cool. Anything else to scan? Scan the planet to find anything useful. There's a lot of um, ferrite, oxygen, hydrogen, but no... No sodium. Now, what's hiding here? Is this copper? I think this is copper, isn't it? You can see it by sort of like the uh, resource deposit. Sodium? Oh, wow. Yes. 
I thought there was no sodium. Suddenly there's a lot of it. Ah, uh, you're killing me. What do you mean no free slots? It's, oh, okay, it's picking up other things, but this is useful. This is this is basically a shield of my suit. Yeah. Let's get as much as this as possible. I know there's no free slots. I wonder what it is picking up. Okay, let's get rid of... Yeah, facium is basically um, poo. Animal poo. Level mana plate. Uh, oh, okay, ferret dust. That's handy. Silicon powder. So this is like an electronics electronics uh, graveyard, I guess. Silicon power, electric units. Yeah. It's weird. It's like a dumping ground for electronic products. Is that all the sodium? Nearly all of it. So how much has that gone up to now? 194. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Ah! <laughs> and then I accidentally fell into my own pit. Uh, anything around it, actually? Yeah, silicon... Silicate powder. So yeah, this looks like this rune's been destroyed and fragmented. Ah, I can't get out of my pit. Oops. There you go. So this is a fragmented moon full of electrical debris, basically. Oh, one thing I'm interested in about, I've got this uh, silicon powder, 203. Could I make that into something? Let's put my portable um, refiner up. Okay. Go into it. Put some silicon powder in. What does that? What does the silicon powder go into? Add some fuel. Some carbon. Makes it into glass. Ooh. Okay. Glass is useful. And while I'm doing this, I might as well put the copper in and do what it says down there. Glass will be useful for buildings. Okay, input items low. Right. Let's serve you. I'll put you back in the suit. Now let's put the copper in there. I did have some copper. Was it in my? Oh, don't tell me it's in my ship. Um, hello, copper, are you here? I think it's in my ship, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Typical. No mind. Pick that up. Glass not worth much but it's used for building and upgrading so I can move that over to the ship no because I can't move it there actually Cobalt what are you doing over there no nope. I have to stay over there then I need to dump some of the stuff off in the ship okay so silicon powder makes glass there you go if I need glass I mean I know what to do no, can I, um, I've discovered a couple of new things, haven't I? Can I upload it all again? Relic Major, Discoveries, 
milestones, discovery, minerals, there you go, it's highlights, it means there's stuff I can upload, only three, but it's better than nothing. 551, we're close, we're getting close. But yeah, this is like, this is weird. Sodium nitrate crystals, oh, handy. Sodium nitrate crystals is the next one up from sodium. Yeah, can I get it though? So I might not be able to get this. So I think it's uh, I need a better uh, multi-tool. We'll soon find out. No, I can get it. Cool. Nice. Again, this this yellowish, greeny stuff is for my shield for my um. Yeah, I was going to say, for my shield, for my suit, but I just realised, again, this is another planet. I think this might happen during the daytime. This is daytime. That I don't, my shield and my oxygen tank are not needed. It's 22.7 degrees centigrade. It's actually a nice warm day. And it's 0 0.2 radiation. So, in fact, this is, with the exception of actually there's no um, oxygen whatsoever in this planet, this is actually a pretty nice day. You look weird. That's like a box. This is a weird, yeah, this is like something has crashed into this planet. And um, destroyed a lot of things. Now a bit more of these blue crystals. That's moving. Or am I moving? <laughs> right, let's get rid of that powder. Um, yeah. So I still need to get quite a bit of nanite crystals. So it means you have to explore. Also, if you do missions, you get the crystals. So I might even have to start considering about doing some missions. But the missions might mean leaving my star system, which I don't really want to leave just yet. Ferrite dust, oxygen, ferrite dust. There's definitely a lot of ferrite dust around. Oh. What was that area there? Is that just a... Let's go over there anyway. Yeah, as I thought, it's a rich mineral source. You can see that by the little strange graphics there. Very Tron-esque graphics, if you've ever seen Tron. Oh, hike. Hike achievement. Gold. Woohoo. I've just stroke I just stroke. Striked gold. By finding gold. Nice. This is so much easier than hitting asteroids. I know no free slots, but I don't want silicon powder, thank you very much. I need to find more of this. This 166 would take me ages in space to find. Gold, 166, which is now worth 58,000 units. I'm afraid you will hear her say that a lot at the moment. Because I'm picking up silicon powder at the same time. Oops, have I dropped down again? Ah! Okay. So, how much was that? 200 units. Oh, uh, no, it wasn't that one. 216 units, 76k. That's not bad. That's not bad. Um, I need to drop some of this stuff off my ship, though. Where's my ship?
Yeah, I need to drop all this stuff off at my ship so it means I can go around finding more gold and silver and stuff. Again, to start off very well in this game, you need a lot of oxygen, carbon, um, sodium, and the hydrogen crystals there. So anything blue, red, yellow, blue, red, yellow, I think that's all of them. It's good. Because these are the main uh, things you need to build, things to progress in the game, basically. Uh, oxygen, yeah. Red is carbon and oxygen. Oxygen for obvious reasons. Uh, carbon, carbon is used to boost your mining tool, gives it energy basically and other things as well. It's not a lot of, not a lot of carbon here. Cobalt is also useful to have. Um, you can sell cobalt. If you make cobalt into if you mine it in your refining tool make it into iodinized carbon cobalt even. It's actually worth a lot more. Um, so, for instance, I've got 25 there, we're 4,000 units, so if I put more in here, that's 27, and if I get my refining tool out, this won't take too long, put the cobalt on here, oh, there you go, ionized cobalt, that's what it comes into, and you can see it's worth a lot more. But I just, if I just find the 2052, sorry, put that there, fuel again, carbon, and then, so it's worth, God, how much was this worth again? 10,000, so let's make it into 26 of this. So from 10,000, it's now worth 10,000. <laughs> that didn't work out. Um, yeah, it is worth more, more than that. Oh, actually, I need to create common metal 26. Use copper. Yeah, that, okay, that's what I need to do, isn't it? Okay. Uh, where's my ship? Oh, hold on. There's another. Oh, there's a couple of. Things being spotted here. Oh, that's up in space, though. Electric cube. Now we know what electric cubes are. They're nothing special. Hmm. Space is telling me there's something up there. Oh no, was it down here? Humming sacks. Oh, okay. So it's basically more of these pearls. Oh, they are actually worth a bit. Um, oh, there you go. That's what I was looking for. Uh, what? Are you, oh, I've been here already. <laughs> uh, where's my ship? Then, oh, going the wrong way. That's not a good start. Ah, oh, there's my ship. Oh, I was actually quite close to it. That's cool. Now, this is another source here, which was just next to my ship, and I missed it. So what is this? Oh, it's gold. <laughs> and I, ne I nearly missed this. Oh. The only thing I'm slightly read about this planet is that... Um, there's not a lot of carbon here. Hold on. Oh. Um. Put you in. And you in. I need 
to mine some more pure ferrite. Yeah, the only downside about this planet is there's no, there's not much carbon around. It's a lot of gold, which is great. There's no point I can't mine gold without the fuel. How much gold's that now? That should be a lot of gold. Five hundred twenty-six with one hundred eighty-five thousand units. That's more like it. Seven thousand. Now, is there any carbon nearby? A little bit there. Whoops. Okay, because I'm near the ship, I can actually transfer stuff around now. So, I can put all my carbon in here. Oh, I've got a lot on the ship, thankfully, of carbon, so that's good. No, oh, I can't move it there. Oh, I can put that in there. else I can move from here? Silver. Sodium nitrate. Nope, can't because it's got zero on there. Iron batteries. No, it's oh, oxygen I can move. That's good. And right, let's make some stuff, shall we? So let's get the mining tool thingy on. make the chronic metal I think we have to make so we need to put the copper in here which we can get now because we're right next to the ship copper there you go it's fuel which again we can do because we're right next to the ship and then we can make well it says 30 but I think we we may don't have to make that many but let's put 30 in anyway let's make 50 overall it's always useful to have a little bit more. Yep, there you go. That's done. Let's pick that up, actually. Anything else we can make while we're here? Pure ferrite's alright. Cobalt. Make that into ionized cobalt. It's going to take a bit of a while, this one. Because there's about two minutes. I know cobalt is more valuable 
um, and um, it's useful for a lot of um, things that we're going to make eventually. Also, we can sell it if we need to, because you've got uh, building, crafting, charging, upgrading. So it can be used for making advanced iron batteries. Now, the iron batteries, if you remember, we've got two iron batteries already in our inventory. Advanced iron batteries means they're obviously a bit more powerful. And then they could be used for charging my suit and stuff. Oh, just realised my phone. As I mentioned before, this uh, this stream, my phone was going to die, <laughs> and it's dying. So I need to charge it up because I'm looking at the chat window via the phone at the moment. There you go. Saved it from its death. So obviously, if you're watching this the recording, you can uh, you can forward this. <laughs> Nearly there. Nearly there. Thirty seconds to go, roughly. Base computer claims a site for construction. Find a suitable area and deploy the base computer. And then use the build menu. Not yet. Not yet. For one thing, if we are going to build a small base, it will probably be on Donut Prime. The very first planet we started off on. Nearly there now. Bingo. 489, it's not bad. So at least we've done um, the next bit of the actual game. Okay. Good. Friendly fire and danger by plan. Okay, I've got something new. Five hundred units. Nice. It's got a high reach of carbon here, so we might as well get some more carbon while we're here. Another sixty-five. That's useful. Cobalt. Cobalt. If I definitely need cobalt, I know where which plant to go to because this has got tons of it. Green dust. Now, has this big structure got anything on it? This is huge. This, whatever it, you call it, like a small mountain. No, nah, it's nothing. Okay. But yeah, this is definitely a p Ooh, another unidentified. I wouldn't even call this. This is centuries old and I'm blasting it. Oops, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I do need the carbon though. How's my carbon looking? Yeah, it's good. Okay, um, what do we need to do now? Because yeah, you can you can even rename all this if you wanted to. Five hundred fifty-seven nanite clusters. That's getting awfully close to um, the anal uh, analyzing tool we need. I can't remember the true amount that we needed. I think it was something like five hundred and forty-eight or something.
548 or 68. I don't want to go up to the space station and still be about three nanites short of getting the uh, getting what I want. So I, I need to explore a bit more to find stuff that I haven't discovered yet, which is going to be tricky. What's that? Oh, it's electric cube. Oh, it's close by. Let's go and have a look at it, see if it's something different. The thing is, the more I stay on this planet, the more um, I've discovered. But it's not hitting my shield or health or anything, so... Oh, well, my life support's a bit down, because there's no oxygen here, of course. It's great. It's right up here. Can I get it from here? Yes, I can. So I've got two electric cubes now. Hmm. I'm sure that's the purpose of having an electric cube. Again, my ship is over there. I am going to venture further and further away from my ship just to try to find stuff. realize my health support is a bit down so I need to uh, give my life support a bit of a boost there you go that's why it was showing because it was going down it was low more carbon to zap and yes if I could find another gold source or even silver that would be useful This is a weird, weird, weird moon. So, it, yeah, it's like silicon. Uh, anything electrical goes and dies. <laughs> Hold on, this is. What are these? These look like they've got little mini boosters. They are, and all. <laughs> I guess you classify this as life forms. Uh, they're going further away from me. They, they clearly don't want me around. That's fine. They seem friendly enough. Well, I hope they're friendly enough. I can scan them. They are. They're animals. <laughs> Very weird looking animals. Oh, and there's a data. Oh, there's a data structure there. That's handy. They are animals. Wow. So we have got life form on this planet, even though they're very weird. Again, this whole planet is very weird. A lot of copper deposits, which is very useful, actually. Sweet room. No, it's too far away. Actually, we need to head to this data structure, which is only... We'll get there very soon. And obviously, if there's more um, mineral resources, then we'll go there as well, which I think... Ooh, what is this? Navigation data. Ooh! Andy, this is worth a lot navigation data. This is where you can go onto sort of like beacons and find um, relics or crash ships in certain circumstances. And also, yeah, they're not worth a lot, but they can be very useful when you need, to, if you want to go and find a base or something and you don't know where to go you put that into the beacon and that um, tells you where it is now I'm going over here because there's some red crystals over here which is a rich carbon source okay anything else my scanner spotting Is 
there's a lot of copper deposits around actually, which I do need. 500, yeah, that's something like a long way away. I don't want to go too far away from my ship. It's going to take me an awful long time to get back. Another electric cube. Is there anything else we need to discover? Oh, there you go. One floor. The only floor here. Upload and reach 50 nanites. Nice. Wow. It was rare. That's why it was worth so much. And we've got over 600. That is great news. That life form was the only life form on the planet. Hence why we got that achievement. Which means... It's great news. Which means we can now head to the space station... Get an upgrade for my analysis and um, my analysis um, gadget. <laughs> Couldn't read what it's called there. So this is a this is a nice well, it's a weird planet. Um, yeah, I can't change the name of it sadly. Yeah, this is um. Strange. <laughs> I know, I keep saying weird and strange, just because it is. It's just a really weird, weird, weird planet. But if I can upgrade... Oh, that's yellow. These guys are friendly. If I um, yellow crystals, which is good. Like, it's electric dump yard, but they somehow have had life forms created from it. And there's some gold here, and there's some silver here, a bit of oxygen. It's actually very friendly. There's no radiation problems here. There's no storms. There's no... Um, high temperatures, no low temperatures. So this could actually be a good home base, surprisingly. If I want to, if I if I was going to choose a home base for my starting system, this could well be a home base, even though it does look a bit odd. Okay, not a bit odd, very odd. Crystal fragments. Uh, oh, I can crack them open. Okay. sell these actually they're worth more and I can get the uh, hydrogen quite easily oh electric cube I might as well pick it up while I'm here so the use of building I don't know I'm, I'm, yeah I am I am thinking about making ah hope you can hear me now. I'm hoping, I'm thinking of making, just realised my mic was nowhere near my face there. I am thinking of maybe of making this planet, this moon, into where my first base is, which is very weird. But it's, it's a strange looking planet. Um, and it's got gold in areas, it's got silver in areas, like I can take off here and land somewhere else and find another area across the planet and just land there and find new stuff. But one thing I need to do is I need to go up to the space station and get my analysis upgrade tool. Which I will do next time we play this. Um, but then I might forget. <laughs> but yeah, I'll, I'll do this next time we do this. 
Uh, there we go, my points now being saved. Yeah, so next other place will be very soon, I'm sure. So, I'm going to say goodbye for now. And I hope you have enjoyed watching this. Uh, thanks, old man, for briefly popping in, saying hello. And um, I'll come back to this very creepy planet very soon. So, it's goodbye from Direct Dave for now.